The second station, accepting the crossbeam. In crucifixion, the prisoner would normally carry a beam that would be attached crosswise to a standing stake that remained on the hill of execution. A sign listing name and offense demanding death hung around the neck so that people would know the reason for the execution. So the beam of the cross is brought out and placed on the shoulders of Jesus. It is heavy, but more important, it le its length makes it awkward to carry. It must be balanced carefully on the shoulder, and at this point in the life of Jesus, his agility is not the best. Though he was harshly treated, he submits and does not open his mouth. He is like a lamb going to slaughter, or a sheep about to be sheared. He is silent and does not say a word. Oppressed and condemned, he is taken away. And who would think any more about him? The prophet Isaiah. And in the Gospel of John, Jesus is led away and carrying the cross by himself. He goes out toward what is called the place of the skull, Golgotha, to the Hebrews. Here I must learn acceptance of the cross something that takes different forms in the lives of different people, but for everyone, it is demanding, difficult, and most important, necessary. In the lives of some, it is a talent or ability that may serve the Lord and the church. At the same time, it can be something one would rather ignore than pay the cost in time and energy that development of it would require. For some, is it is a physical or psychological difficulty that may not be escaped. In such a case, the choice is either to carry the cross or be crushed by it. Often the cross is of a moral nature in the form of demands of the Christian life. Here, one may turn from the cross and ignore the responsibility, either by leaving the Christian community or staying in it and living as a hypocrite. No person at any place or any time is without a cross. It is a part of Christian life, and the only path open to the Christian is the one that Jesus takes. Receive the cross, accept the cross, and carry the cross. But the Lord has a word of encouragement for me. The cross always looks worse than it is because I never have to carry it alone. The Lord is with me. Let us pray. Father, I seek your light and your truth. The cross is before me, and I am slow to accept it. It seems to me that others have a lighter or more interesting cross. In spite of my words, I even suspect secretly that there are those without a cross at all. But this is my cross before me, and I would pick it up and carry it. Fill me with your power and that force that allowed Jesus to carry his cross, and I will carry mine. Amen.